what's up? Dave Delgado here for In The Zone. I'm here with the Cruz brothers straight from Georgia. We're talking football. Yes, Before sir. we get into uh, what they're doing here on Guam for Saturday's uh, grind over at Guam High, we're going to talk football first. Uh, fullback, yes, also sir. known as Boom, running back Nico. Uh, man, you see you see the uh, the jewelry here. Uh, back to back state champions. Back -to -back state champions. Uh, let's talk about uh, that 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 run where you guys uh, were able to pull off that that state championship. Well, to begin, we brought our school its very first state championship. His senior right, year, right. I was a junior. And how many touchdowns did you have? Uh, my right. senior, year, I had twenty one touchdowns. Yeah. Uh, led the man. Led the sure. team in rushing. Led the whole region in rushing yards as well. But we just after my senior year, we won our first ever state championship. And, you know, once our seniors graduated, we were just hoping that my brother and his boys just kept that tradition going. And they, they did it. They went 15-0, and 0, which we couldn't do. We went 14-1. and 1, And they just set the standard even higher for the next group coming in. So we're proud of and them And the main as well. thing about that team was a lot of those boys, we grew up playing together. So, like, we already had that chemistry. You know, we wouldn't let each other down. So. Well, let's, let's get back to that 21 touchdowns. Uh, how many of that was uh, courtesy of uh, my man right here? A lot, a lot yeah. of them. A lot of our main runs come with the yeah. fullback, so it's always running behind my brother, you know, and just always trusting. You got to be able to trust that guy as your main running back. So yeah. a lot of our runs were with tight end, with him at tight end or him at fullback. So that's just that's how we do it. We like to yeah. be real physical when we load up the box and we just ran it hard and scored. And we learn from each other. Touchdown. Like, yeah. you know, if I mess up, he's going to let me know, you know. Or if he messes up, I'll be like, you know, hit it here, you know. And, and we were talking off camera, you know, Georgia's a big uh, football uh, country. And, um, you know, being from, from the islands, you talked about being the only Pacific Islanders out there. The and, only um, ones there. And, and how much of a chip you guys had on your shoulders and putting in that extra work. Let's mm -hmm. talk about um, that, just knowing that, you know, the, the pride of your people, the island behind you guys, and just playing for, for Guam in general. Well, playing with uh, – we play with a lot of guys that, you know, they're physically, physically blessed with, like, size and you know just freak of, freak of natures and like we didn't really have that but we we were blessed with like that work ethic you know that hunger just to grind and work 10 times harder than the next guy so yeah what we always so we'll, had to do our the, whole with life. the skill sets we're given we we know that you know they're blessed but we have to always work 10 times harder go two a days go work out after church on sundays we've yeah. just got to always put in more work because those guys you know Whenever we're not working, they're working. So we got to make sure we double them up every single time. And we always put in more work with my father, our coaches, and me and my brother, are, we're our best competitors. We always compete against each other. And, I mean, we're blessed with a lot of skills as we have as well. You know, they might be blessed with the size, but being from Guam, being, you know, Pacific Islanders, we got a lot of heart. And that's where yeah. we overcome a lot of those other boys is because of our heart and just – our work ethic, how hard we're willing to go for everything that we want. So, and I think too, you know, um, family playing playing for the 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 fans that come. You know, what I mean, yeah, right, especially right. you know locals. Oh, That's what come it was. To that was our main motivation. Like, people ask, you know, what? Why do you keep working so hard, dude? The only reason we we wanted any anything was to make our family proud. Like, right, no matter correct. what we did. I could tell anybody that. You yeah, know? I'm not. We weren't really worried. Like the trophy, too much. all that, like the rings. All we wanted to see at the end of that state championship game was like our dad, you know, smiling. Like yeah, our family that proud. Crazy. That's a that's our biggest accomplishment. We're not. We weren't really too worried about the winning. You know, I'll come with that the success. Yeah. But at the end of the day, our main motive to playing this sport is just putting a smile on our family's faces. You know, we get to see them after the game, cheering us on, win or lose. So that's the biggest thing. That's our main motive. You know, just represent our island well, wearing our running with my flag every time. Yeah, yeah. Talk Man. about that. I mean, that's got to give you guys goosebumps every time you come out that tunnel or um, step onto that field with that Guam flag draped over your shoulder. It is, and you know, we wouldn't be able to do that if we weren't. You know, what I'm saying you got to be one of the top guys to do something like that. You know, what I'm saying. So we had to work first, and right. once we became one of the top guys, we can do that. You know, we can show off. This is where we're from. This is what made us. You know, this is why we are like we are. You know. Right, right. And we we truly represent. You know, where we're from, because yeah. a lot of people, you know, they're from other places and they would want to do that, but they just don't have that amount of like respect for their culture to do something like that. Like they know where we've come from, and 
you know, a lot, even just our people in our community love when we come out there with our flag and yeah. just represent where we're from. So it's not just a family thing, but it's just our whole community started to embrace that. Like, man, these boys from Guam are coming out here, South Georgia, yeah. Friday nights and balling out every game. I so, think it, another thing, too, is probably like guys always like going to your house because they know it's a lot oh, of food. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we welcome everybody. That's how yeah, my a lot dad of is, our boys, man. a lot of our friends from our neighborhoods, our teams, you know, that we've grown up with, they always mm-hmm. want to come over, you know, eat, barbecue, everything. My dad, he just grandfather, we always cook and yeah. we always welcome everyone. And a lot of my boys come. Sorry, guys, uh, speaking of family, you guys have a shout out from one of your aunties here. Oh man! Yeah. Go ahead and read that. Oh yeah, Auntie Sherry, what's going on? <laughs> Our family from Cali, you know. We're yeah, just we love them, man. Here in Guam, speaking to everyone and yeah. everyone tuning in. We already see a lot of our family tuning in, so what's no going surprise, on? yeah, no yeah? surprise they're tuned in. Right. And I think the cool thing too is, if parents don't know where the kids are, oh, they're over at the cruises probably. So. Yeah, and it's it's good, you know. Their parents are like okay, you know, we know. We right, right. Them. They're in good hands. They're with us, you know. So. Man, they love it. A lot of our friends come over, and their families feel like they're welcome. They're safe with us, yeah. and that's what we, you know. That's just what we preach. You know, we're a big family, extended family. You know, even just from our main family, but like our friends, our our and friends, parents, dude, like, everyone. Football, you know, it gives us that platform to represent Definitely. where we're from. Definitely. You know? Yeah, you know, you talk about success. We talk about Zach Banner. Zach Banner right, really, right. really represents the island. Jamal Agnew, you know, yeah, he's right. he's another guy too. And um, nowadays, uh, everybody talks about having a platform mm-hmm. and having uh, something to look forward to, especially exactly. for the kids here on the island. I right. mean, they always, you know, not always, but some of them feel like we're not big enough, we're not fast enough. But uh, you can't really teach heart. We talked about that too. Exactly. Yeah. And I think if they just understand, hey, as long as you put your, 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 your foot down and, and keep grinding, right. uh, good things are going to happen. Definitely, definitely. And, we, like, the more people yeah. that make it, you know, that's just proven. You know, like, we, right. we can do this, you know. And we are blessed with, like, like our you own said, skills, that, our own yeah, God our given own the skill set, man. You know? like, it's I huge. mean, like my brother said, the more people that keep making it, the more we're going to believe in our own selves. You know, we got, a lot, we got a lot of athletes, you know, from Guam or just, you know, tomorrow that are, doing their thing in these colleges as well as, you know, like Zach Banner, NFL. So, yeah, yeah we definitely have what it takes. We definitely do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's talk about play- family reunion now. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah like my, my dad, Dead everyone, deep. Auntie Jen, my mom. Yeah, everyone's in here, man. They're, they're so let's just, talk about playing at the next level. Uh, talk about the college you're attending right now. And the, uh, you you also said you'll be transferring over to, right. to college. Uh, I remember when there might be some more stuff. school okay. first offered me, it was like uh, they said they all sat um, as a coaching staff and watched my film, and the first thing they said was they could already tell I, you know, my work ethic was top notch, or I was always hungry, you know, just to grind. They could tell by my film they knew who I was. You know, I didn't even introduce myself. Right. They're like, so you know, we're gonna our coaching staff. We all agreed to give you an offer, you know. Definitely. And you're looking to transfer over there too? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. After my first year, I played at Kennesaw State. Um, like my brother said, they they already know our work ethic. So mm-hmm. they were just calling me up, you know, man, we need, to, we need to join you guys together, join the brothers back together and get this thing rolling behind you guys, especially the yeah. offensive end. So they were calling me up and just, you know, inc- they were interested in me. And I felt like it was no better opportunity than to join my brother. I mean, how much people yeah. can say – you know they're playing college ball at the next level with their mm-hmm. own brother and being from Guam. Yeah, well, and and being a fullback and a running right, back. Right, exactly. Makes sense. I mean that yeah. I, I, that's probably the first time I ever heard something like that. I mean maybe right. at the youth level it's a possibility. Yeah, yeah. But collegially, um, if you guys are able to get that done and, and put in that work where yeah. he's your your lead back, right, and you're, right, and you're scoring touchdowns, that's a great thing. Mm-hmm. Um, so you're here on island. Uh, gonna do the grind uh, Saturday right, right. at Guam High School with uh, yes, sir. Coach Jacob Dowdell uh, at Guam High. But um, when you talk to the kids there, what are gonna be some of the things that you want to instill into them as far as maybe uh, staying positive, but also making sure that you do your work on and off the field? Uh, mainly because, well, where we live, it's like, you know. Just being different, they'll count you out, you know. So when I say we work 10 times harder, you do that on the field and off the field, you know. We're going to work hard to make a good impression on that person because we got to make them. 
They got right, right. We just going. definitely want to let them know, you know that, man, we, we have what it takes. You know, the Lord bless yeah, us with our own thing. giving, blessed abilities, you know. We might not be the tallest or whatever, but we always have that heart. And if you just keep grinding and grinding and grinding, put him in extra work, it'll pay off, you know. The Lord sees everything yeah. and, you know, he sees you putting that work. He will, he will bless you. So we have what it takes, man. There's no need for us to look down upon ourselves or, you know, disappoint, you know, ourselves. We, we have what it takes. It's shown. We have a, it's shown, you know, our, the proof is in the pudding. Our people have done it. They're in, they're playing college ball. We're playing college ball. They're, you know, going to NFL. We have what it takes. There's no need to look down on ourselves or we can't make it because yeah. we definitely can't. But to we also understand can. how hard you got to work, you know, it, it's not going to come free. By right, no right, means. Like, definitely. And like, you like just, you gotta, saying, man, we, you gotta, you know, stand out. Everyone's yeah. working. Everyone's working out. But you, you gotta put in work in the classroom. You gotta put in work in on the football field, just in your community. These things gotta make you stand out when you go to everyone, because everyone is playing football. Every, there's a million, there's billions of us. But what is gonna make you different? You gotta be different. You gotta put in extra work everywhere, whether it's helping your community, you know, getting good grades in school and playing ball. That's a total package. Yeah. And my dad would always stress that, like, what are you doing to stand out? You know? Right, right. What are you seeing today? You yeah. know, like. Well, I think that's that's probably one of the biggest things too is. Uh, grades, making sure your grades are right because uh, schools and coaches look at that. But then the community thing, I, I like what you guys said about that. <clears throat> Excuse me, but uh, giving back because it, it's all about character. When we talk about sports, right. sports building character, um, that's another one that, that coaches look yeah, at too. Yeah. Locker room, how are you going to be with Being your team? coachable, like, yeah, it's right, all, exactly. All that adds up, like I'm telling you, like how much film you watch. Are you a student of the game, you know? It all hey, adds up. Yeah, and I try to tell that to the kids, too, uh, for youth football. You know, the, the more you know about the game, the easier it comes, you know. And Definitely. and knowing kind of both sides, you know. Right, just, right. Just nowadays, kids are always on the phone, on the iPad, yeah. watching and looking at videos. I'm like, hey, if right. you're on the iPad, watch, yeah, watch, watch football. The right thing, all you got to do is YouTube drills, exactly. YouTube your position, and just soak it all in. And, and yeah, That's, just, that's yeah. what definitely gave us our edge, too, me and my brother, is that – we were just so knowledgeable of the game. Mm -hmm. There was no no um, barriers you could put on us. You could play any position. You know, a lot of people, they get stuck on one position. Oh, this is all I know. Man, if you do the drills and you do, and you make yourself knowledgeable of every position, these coaches have no choice but to put you in. You could play anywhere. Yeah. So, like, that's – my dad always taught us that. Man, to put you on the line, play on the line. If you run the ball, you run the ball. If you play defense, you play defense. Do it all. Don't limit how yourself. Big, dude, like, where we live, like – just to be on the field is huge, like, right? Because not too many people get that chance. I tell me, like, play well, competition. You guys talked about uh, the guys on your team and and how um, big they've been playing as far as other colleges. Yeah, yeah. Drop some some guys uh, names and colleges that that they're attending right now. Um, we got a lot of them. One Otis Reese, he's at UGA Georgia. Um, Tavian Mayo's at West Virginia. Um, Ty Terrell is at Marshall. Tory Griffin Carter. McDowell's at Florida. Um, Torrey Carter, another fullback like my brother. Yeah. He's at LSU. Um, we just got the whole list keeps going on and on. Mm -hmm. TJ Harris at Troy. And we got a lot of boys playing big time ball. And these are guys that we kind of had to compete against every single day. And they're going to make you bring it every single day. And this is, I mean, in South Georgia, this is all we play. Guys that are on that same yeah. caliber of level. So. What about uh, your coaching staff? Anybody play at, at the next level or um, um, pretty, pretty? We have you know? in our, you know, at, in our time at Lee County High School, we have had a lot of coaches that played either mm -hmm. the second level or NFL. Um, we've had guys that I know made a couple practice squads for like the Patriots, yeah. stuff like that. I and mean, then we also had a lot of our coaches that played college ball, whether it's Troy University, um, Missouri, Southeast Missouri. Uh, we've had a lot of coaches that been able to play multiple levels of football. So, uh, who's your NFL team? I like the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah, Smash Mouth. I yeah. like the Cowboys. My dad, Ooh, you know, just raised us up yeah. under the. Cowboys. That hurt right here, man, because in the nineties, <laughs> the Cowboys. I'm right, a Niner right, right. fan, man. And, and yeah, back a lot in the of day, my family, my family, 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 all day. Yeah, hey, yeah, I, yeah, you know, yeah. I like the Niners only because you know, Smash Mouth football, oh, yeah, football, exactly. uh, fullback, uh, fullback. Running back. Right, And, right. you know, you look at NFL nowadays, I mean, it's like teams don't really 
do that. I mean, it's only the Patriots yeah. or the 49ers. Mm-hmm. And right, you know, right. when, when games, when you start just slinging the ball around and you're a three and out, and, and look at the Kansas City Chiefs, for instance. Right. Um, you know, they're able to score points, but when they need to slow the game down and, and run time yeah, off that clock, they can't do yeah. that. Right, right. Exactly. That's true. Um, yeah, we've always just been raised as like, the running game, the running game leads to everything, you know? You have a successful running game, the passing yeah, will come. You'll be good. You have a successful running game, your defense has time to have a break. You know, yeah. when you always just go three and out, you know, your defense is right back on the field. That's not helping yeah. them at all. And if you're just able to run that ball, it just all, overall, man, the offense just gets a lot better. You, you know, your receivers start getting open, they start blocking for you. I mean, you just have to force the defense to trust both. And. I just like running the ball because it doesn't right. make the, the line get lazy. Yeah. You know, when yeah, they start yeah. pass blocking, right. pass blocking. just block. sit back. Yeah, and then when it's a run time, I'm like, right, right. you better do your job, man. Come right, on. right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, so um, before you guys uh, leave, uh, what are some of the things that you guys want to get done while, while you're back here on vacation? Just grind. Like, work out with the boys here. Like, see how they, you know, see how they work out and just. Right. We also, you know, with the whole football thing, we, we do want to be a, in, a part of, like, schools here and just speak to the younger generation as well. But also our time here, we're just here to embrace our, our culture. culture. You know, yeah. we, 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 being not born in, in Guam, but being that we lived in the States, and we just want to really embrace our culture while yeah, we're here and fully true. dive into everything that, that's, you know, that comes with our culture, our islands. So that's really what we're looking forward to. You know, football is, is an outlet to that as well, you know, speaking to the boys. But... I know for us, being you know from the states, we really just want to be one hundred percent bought into our culture. Yeah. I think, and, and that was a cool thing because I interviewed Joe Gogo, and he's a fighter out there in uh, San Diego, uh, holds three belts in Muay Thai, right. running MMA, and he talked about coming back home and just soaking up that energy from the land. Exactly. And then once you get that embedded, you're like, oh, now you yeah. you probably go to Georgia with your chest out a little exactly. even more. Right, like, right. Yeah, yeah, I just I done came right. home and. I'm playing for all these people now because I'm sure people are definitely going to start hitting you up on social media, following you more, especially the players that you guys make an impact on and, right, and right. you talk to over here. At the my ground. dad always stressed that. He was like, you know, no matter our accomplishments or what we do, is like never forget, you know, your roots or where you come from every time. Definitely. No matter what we ever did, just told us, you know, remember where you're from, you know, represent that hard, yeah. like. We're excited. We're excited, you know, to just be here. You know, we're excited to fully be back home, you know, for a while and be able to just share our knowledge as well as gain a lot of knowledge. You know, we're, we need to learn a lot of stuff from yeah. being back home, you know, just refreshing ourselves mentally and in our souls, going to the beach, you know, learning, learning and learning. That's our biggest thing, just gain as much knowledge as get possible. Get around our uncles and yeah, aunties. Yeah, get around you know, the elders like, and just learn, learn. Yeah. So, know about it, you know. Well, it's gonna be a lot of learning and a lot of doing. Yes, sir. boy, you do this. <laughs> right, can right. you do? Can yeah, you do yeah. this for uh, Auntie? Uh, right, and, go yeah, to the ranch, and, you know, and, and that's that's that's, that's, that's the cool thing about it is just um, no matter what you do in the accomplishments, the rings, no no matter what, you're always gonna be <clears throat> the nephew. Right, and, right. You know, and and nothing's gonna change. You know, they're just gonna. Definitely. Treat you like any other kid that was raised here and, and born here. It's no difference at all. Yes, sir. Definitely. Definitely. So we're ready. We're ready. Yeah. Anything else you guys want to add before I let you guys go? Uh, just that main part, man. To all the Chamorro kids, like, you got it. Like, you know, we're we're blessed with, how, you know, we're, we're talented too, dude. Like, like I said, with the work ethic, man, the hunger, like. Just yeah. the discipline, like, you can't teach that, you know, and a lot of kids don't have that, and that's what puts you above, you just, you got to work to it, you got to work hard, you know. And yeah, We got what it takes, yeah, and, um, man, sure. speaking of Saturday, everyone, you know, if you have a chance, if you're free, come, come yeah, check us come out, out there, you know, we'll be at Guam High with yeah. the grind, and let's work, just, yeah, let's work, check us out. Let's get it in. Yeah, let me just confirm real quick uh, the time. Okay, while Dave does that, you guys, have, if you guys want to pass the phone back and forth, you guys got a lot of comments. There's some family members and people are Shout them out, wishing bro. you well. Shout yeah. Them out. yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, everyone. And to Sherry, my dad, everyone. Jeez, we have a lot of people, boom. But, um, yeah, we're just thank for everyone tuning in and, yeah, you know. For sure. Just want to preach that. Which we knew that, you guys would tune in. Yeah, we yeah. We already knew. We just want to preach that this football thing, man, it's, 
it's huge, but at the same time, the, the biggest the biggest thing here is our education. We're here to get an um, yeah, education yeah, yeah. at the second level, you know. Always increase our education. Go to college and stuff like that. That all comes with it, you know. The football comes behind that. At the end of the day, mm-hmm. we're student athletes That's in general. Man. That's student parts first. And, you know, you got to be in those books before you can go play anywhere else. So, biggest things, focus on your schoolwork. The grind will come after that. Football will always sure. come later. But at the end of the day, we're trying to, we're always trying to better ourselves. And going to school is always the, the main focus. And if you can play ball at, at the same time, hey, you know, the more the merrier. That's even better. So Yeah, and come back. Yeah. Come back right, and, right. And, and share your knowledge. Definitely, and give yeah, game. definitely. Yep. So, so uh, don't forget, uh, it's going to be this Saturday, 4.30. Uh, 4.30, 4.30 at the baseball field at Guam High. It's going to be right there on the left side of the football field. Uh, yeah, I believe check us Gate- out. Gates should be open, so uh, it's open to everybody, all high school athletes. Um, yeah, man, come check out uh, the Cruz uh, brothers. Boom, yeah. Hey. Yeah, we're going to yeah. go. Let's grind. Let's work. Right. All right, so uh, we'll see you there uh, this Saturday at Guam High for the grind. That's going to do yes, it sir. for yes, In sir. the Zone.